What's up, everybody? Um, I've got this kind of weird, annoying uh, problem in Terraform that I'm gonna hack around. And I wanted to share my very hacky approach. I'm not saying this is best practice, um, but I'll show you the problem. I'll show you a couple solutions that I thought of and then the one I'm actually trying to implement right now. So the problem is I have, uh, I'm trying to keep things as simple as possible without uh, using something like Packer or, um, or even something like uh, Puppet or Ansible to pre-configure and bake an image, which no doubt for real life is a good way to do this. Um, but I'm, I'm making another course and I just want a kind of quick and dirty configuration that's really simple for people to still read through so that they have to keep less pieces of information in their head. So the config scripts for different nodes are like this. So like. This is the one for my console nodes, for example. It's being passed in as a user data script, so this is gonna run via AWS Cloud and in. Fine, so you, you do all the regular stuff, a system update, but then we do some common stuff. For example, installing DNS mask for um, console DNS, installing console, um, you know, creating like unit files, uh, config files that are, these are gonna be common for all like console agents, just as an example. Same for Nomad, you can see a lot of this code is duplicated, right? So we have this huge amount of duplication in these you know, fairly long and annoying scripts, right? Templating is obviously the, the solution. Um, so I thought of a few different ways of maybe doing this. Uh, one was because my code is in, in modules, right? So th these are, these are uh, Terraform modules in here, they really, they should either contain everything they need, or I was thinking of maybe using an external data source, like an HTTP data source or HTTPS data source to pull down, to like host these on GitHub, these, these chunks of configuration, and then pull them down as an external data source and then concatenate them together and then uh, pass that in as a user data script. But I was thinking, it's just it's just too crazy. It's just too too silly. Let's, let's do this. The, the, the hacky way. Now, if someone has a better solution to this, please tell me because what I'm what I'm trying to do isn't a great fit for Terraform because it's I am trying to keep most of this modular, but then have all the shared stuff not be contained in each module. Which I get it; it's bad practice. But here's my solution that I'm actually going to do. I have taken one of these, and you can see I've I've made some comments where I've removed the uh, the config, the, the sort of shared config that every node has. Every node is gonna have a DNS mask um, install and set up and removing system D, um, resolve D. Every node is gonna be a console agent, have a console agent at the very least, even if it's not a console server. The console client config, most nodes are gonna have that shared. I don't mind having a literal server config in the server node, but like the clients, you know, however many I have, I'm gonna, they're all gonna use this. So, I've pulled these out into their own files. You can see they are technically, I'm, I'm putting .sh there as a hint, but they're not real, you know, they don't contain a, a shebang line like user bin env bash, and they don't have, you know, set options and not set EUO pipe fail or anything like that. These are clearly meant to be concatenated together or uh, interpolated, and that is my approach. So what I'm gonna do here, um, I just did a little bit of uh, Googling around for, for Terraform docs, um, specifically what the file function does, etc., a couple of those things. And I think what I can do is basically interpolate, um, how about DNS mask config as a template. I'm gonna pass these in as template variables. I'm gonna create template variables from files and then uh, well, that's what I'll do. Uh, and I'll say, should I call them snippets? That's like a thing that people call these things, right? Yeah, because then they could be scripts, they could be install code, they could be whatever, and then just tag snippet on the end. Um, DNS mask config snippet, console install snippet. So this AWS instance is configured via a template 
and you can see I'm already passing a few um, things in there. No, I don't actually know how that's gonna work. This might actually break it because I have existing variables in here, but let's just see. And these will be fuke or file. So we're going outside of the module and then over to share config. This is a really bad practice right here. Um, and then whatever.sh and then Now this is gonna have to, either I'm gonna have to render these into their own templates and then pass this stuff in. Right, so we're like pre-rendering this into a chunk and then passing it in here. And these other two go in as literals and then we can remove these because they no longer are used in that template. This is getting kind of complicated, I'm sorry. Um, but this is one solution, right? We just sort of made this up. This kind of works, this is a thing. And then uh, this totally needs to be a var. Okay, this feels right. This feels like we're uh, feels like we're there. Data template file console install snippet. It gets used here rendered. The other vars that get passed in are here. And uh, let's see if it works. So I've now fixed up the code to where I can run a Terraform plan. Uh, you see. It actually is looking good. And here is how I uh, did that. I made a few more changes while you weren't looking. Namely, it looks like these config snippets, it is an idea that works. Again, not best practice, but it has to be a file path relative to the module. For some reason, just uh, starting with this file path didn't work. Um, I also just had some bugs where um, I you know, had the wrong name here, the wrong path here for what I wanted. Um, but I've messed around with it for a few minutes and I have changed all three templates. So my console servers, you can see I pulled out some base packages that I install. I set up DNS mask in another snippet and then I uh, install console after making a server config. You can also see that I've separated my server console config from the snippet that I'm gonna use everywhere for console clients. This for example is on a made up Nginx host. And where's my third host? Uh, I've also pulled out Nomad into its own snippet. So uh, they're simple, you know, uh, like install base packages really doesn't do much except set up Debian front end and install a few shared packages. I might add Vim to this, but honestly, this is definitely like infrastructure as cattle. So I'm not, uh, I'm not super worried about it making that like perfectly usable from the command line. Uh, yeah, there you go. This is basically what it looks like. Um, some of the stuff, like you'll notice that one, uh, both the console uh, and Nomad snippets have been pulled out and actually renamed to TPL to show that they are in fact templates because they each take, um, they each take some, some config, uh, some template variables. So you have this base template that's going to get shoved in as user data. Uh, and then this depends on some other templates, some sort of sub templates that get rendered out separately. And uh, I don't know, I think it's, again, not super best practice because of where I'm keeping these shared scripts. But, you know, in practice, like I'm not going to share the Nginx module or something publicly without depending on the rest of the project. So as long as it's all in the repo, it feels it feels like a sane thing to do for the problem I'm facing. Um, yeah, so there you go, mixing up files and uh, other templates as inputs to a final template that goes in as user data and is then executed on the machines. 
Uh, now I'm gonna run this uh, in Terraform and see if it actually works. Uh, if it doesn't, I'm not gonna upload this video. So if you're seeing this, it means uh, what I just made up works. <laughs> I hope that's helpful for some of you. Uh, cool. Peace.